two very important things I want to talk about in this video. One is this tweet from Romley responding to a redraw of Uzaki that we talked about the other day. The other thing I want to talk about is this tweet from a Japanese Twitter user, Wokata156, who is talking about another redraw. And this tweet has almost 2,000 likes. And for the record, this redraw that I just showed you from the prior tweet that I have not covered on my channel yet until this video is indeed also being talked about on Japanese websites. And not just that, but they're also talking about this redraw from the same artist who says, I also redesigned Elma from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. So they're talking about that too. That's what we're going to go over in this video. Let's get to it. We'll go back to the Romley tweet after this part of the video. Since we're already talking about the redraws now, let's just stick on that. So here's the original tweet of this redraw it says, I made a redesign for Uzaki-chan. She is now normal. As you can probably imagine, people in Japan are curious what this person means about she is now normal. What's that supposed to mean? And this tweet actually gets over 16,000 likes. Oh my gosh. And if you needed a better look at the art, well, there you go. That's uh, apparently normal Uzaki. <laughs> Clearly, a large reason why a lot of these artists are getting so much backlash for their redraws is because of the framing. They're framing it in such a smug way and not like a smug that they actually pull off. It's the kind of smug that just falls flat and you think to yourself, this is pathetic. This person's a total loser. You know, she's now normal. And what were the other redraws, what were they saying? I improve the terrible design. They say, they say things like that. It's so obnoxious. Let's read the response from JP Twitter and uh, the Google Translate. Let's take a look. She is now normal and grass. Obesity isn't normal in Japan. It's abnormal enough to be scolded by doctors instead of having a level of individuality or something like that. Ob obesity is the cause of all illnesses. <laughs> So <laughs> the English, you know, the translation's not perfect, but I think that one works out pretty well. You certainly get the idea. At least I, I hope you do. I would like to also give a shout out to Dream for the tag and also the translation because it, uh, Dream is reminding me that LOL, that's right, in Japanese kanji, I, I think it's like they use the kanji for grass as LOL or something like that. So thank you for the reminder. And that's a perfect segue into Romilly's tweet. So we'll take a look at that next. And here is a reminder again about the attitudes of these artists. It's not just the redraws, it's what they're saying along with it. For example, this one says, I redrew that gross anime design and actually made her 20 years old. The anatomy on the OG hurt me so much, guys. Also gave her a froggy because her fit was boring. So, you know, multiple insults there to the original art. They're not just redrawing it. They're also insulting the original artists and the fans and all that sort of thing. Now, here's what Romley has to say. And for those of you who've been t tuning into my segments, it's going to sound a little bit familiar what Romley is saying because I said something very similar a couple days ago. You redrew that gross anime design. Okay, uh, why are you why are you indulging in cultural appropriation, you bigot? The big difference is Romley's actually Japanese. Here's what Romley says. As a Japanese, the left looks like a white, while Uzaki-chan is Japanese and the right looks more Japanese than the left. Isn't it whitewashing or cultural appropriation? At least it's quite opposite to political correctness, isn't it? So I think what's going on here is that Romley and I are making very similar points. We're basically trying to flip their logic back at them. And I use logic with air quotes because can you even really say that these people are being logical? Not really, not really. So. Yeah, but, but here's the thing. If A lot of these types that are doing these redraws and the tens of thousands of people that are liking them and retweeting them are the same types to act like they're all progressive or whatever. I don't even know what terminology they use nowadays, but you, you get the point. So if people are going to preach this sort of activism or whatever, but then they're going to take art from Japan and redraw it in a more Western version, as far as I understand, reading the book definition of cultural appropriation, that is pretty much the by the book definition. So why are these people who preach one thing on Twitter acting another way and everyone's fine with it? It's so insincere. And that, again, is what Romney and I are getting at, even when he says quite the opposite of political correctness, because we probably don't like the PC stuff. But the point is, they're being hypocrites. That's the point. At least that's my opinion on Romley's take and me explaining further my take as well from the video clip I, uh, I showed a moment ago and also have been explaining. Weird stuff, man. These people are truly bizarre.
very inconsistent. If Twitter's consistent for one thing, it's in being inconsistent. Back at the Japanese website, we have some funny comments here, like this one. I'm glad I'm Japanese. Yeah, uh, trust me, I'm not proud of a lot of these Westerners. I'm worried about the mentality of Uzaki's author. I either break my heart or sue. I guess they're worried that they might quit or something. I know a lot of us are worried about Horikoshi, given all the My Hero Academia stuff going on. I guess that could also be a concern for Uzaki. But I think in large part, most of the Uzaki stuff has been really helpful to her uh, her franchise, so to speak. I mean, there's a crazy amount of popularity being driven to this thing now due to all this backlash, so to speak, and mostly all the support. I mean, by far more people are supporting Uzaki. That's evident. The backlash is just vocal minority on Twitter. And there's a lot of them on Twitter, but, you know, compared to the majority, they're still minority. This one's interesting because maybe this person is a little out of the loop with what's going on or the translation's not that great. It says, Wonder Woman's rewrite, is this correct? Counter to it? Or is it just a fan art boom like Sailor Moon redraw? So my take on this is they're kind of asking, like, is this just a fun sort of redraw thing like the Sailor Moon challenge? Because if you know that news, the Sailor Moon challenge wasn't a uh, controversy or anything. There's a lot of people doing these cool redraws. There was a little bit of controversy, actually, because some you know people on Twitter had to go all radical or whatever. Go figure. But, but by far, most of that was just positive uh, art that people were doing. Great art, great artists that were involved. So, no, this is not like that at all. It's not like a redraw tra challenge. It's just people redrawing out of spite. And I frame it that way because literally the captions they put with their redraws, fixing that ugly design and things like that, it's very pathetic. Last comment I want to take a look at is this one. It's again kind of following up what Romley and I were talking about. It says, Shirley Polikore, which is uh, politically correct, was calling out for the theft of culture. Is copyright infringement politically correct? So copyright infringement, maybe that's a translation, but you get the idea. They're talking about cultural appropriation, theft of culture, same kind of thing. Yes, it's indeed very hypocritical. People on Twitter say it's a bad thing to do, and then they go and do that thing. Wait, we actually have one more example I want to show you guys. This is too hilarious. This whole uh, thread right here, so to speak. To correct the expression according to the correct idea, frankly, that's fascism. So I think you get the idea again, kind of following up all of what we've been talking about and saying that is actually fascism. This one says, there are too few common parts before Elma's redesign in Polycore, so it's just an original character. <laughs> That's so hilarious to me. If I'm reading this properly, they're basically saying the redesign is so poorly done. It looks like an OC. It doesn't even look like Uzaki. <laughs> and this person, Uzaki Chan's drawing, the position of the base of the legs. They they don't have an abdomen. So this is not normal because again, the tweet was saying it was a nor you know, they just want to make her look normal. This person saying that she doesn't even have like it doesn't look normal basically. You get the point. And uh I just want to laugh at that at the end there. It was it was pretty funny stuff to me. Uh, so there we go. We'll end the video. I'm looking at a few more of these. A lot of these comments don't translate so well. It's why I don't show them all. I try to pick uh, the, the few that are the most accurate or at least easy to get the context, you know, easy to understand for the most part. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you guys next time.